So tonight we're looking at one of these solar powered, uh, what they call them are solar um, garden outdoor lights. So these are waterproof. Um, I got the 42 meter, which is I think a little over 130 feet. Now this whole thing can be powered with a 1.2 volt, 1200 milliamp power. And uh, from the description, what it says is it can light this six to eight hours if it's fully charged. Um, so as you can see, there's two more places, but they didn't add it. So technically what I wanted to do was extend this plate here, add uh, three larger capacity batteries. So I was going to add uh, the energizer rechargeable batteries, like a higher capacity. I think they're like 23, 2400 milliamp hours. If I were to add three of those in parallel, you would add all those milliamp hours together. So if it's 2300, that would be times three. You know, that would be, what is that? That's 6900 milliamp hour. And this thing would be on all until the next day where it's where it turns bright and then the photo sensor detects that. And so then it goes into charging mode. Then it starts charging the batteries again. When as soon as it gets dark, the photo sensor senses that and then it starts, you know, extracting juice and the lights turn on. So what I wanted to first try is without adding these plates, I wanted to just replace this with an energizer, like almost double the capacity and apparently six to eight hours with this. So it would go about, you know, 12 plus hours, which would be perfect, you know, no matter how lit of a barbecue I'm having in the backyard, um, uh, these would be on. So obviously if, if it's going on like this, it's going to last the full, you know, six to eight hours. But if it's like the different modes, so this mode, you know, it can last longer. There's a mode where it's just on. So this probably would be less. It would probably be like three, four hours. Another thing that would have been cool is if you can use these 18650 batteries, although this compartment's a little too small. So it sucks that I can't use these, you know. This one for me, something I created, this turns down the little boost, boosting it. It's a load resistor and it just turns on this cob light so i have all these in uh who do i have these so i have these in series and uh it's a little more than 16 volts so i'm stepping it down to 12 volts that's what this guy needs so i'm using the load resistor to give it a constant uh like one amp now here's something else that I picked up off the Facebook marketplace. This is a much bigger high quality solar panel and it is connected through a barrel connector to this five volt LED light. Now if I turn this on, you'll see that it'll just do a blink because it's face down. But if I Put it face up, so how does this go? Yeah, there you go. So it's actually really bright. And this actually has a much higher capacity battery in there. And I'm assuming it's gonna be one of these 18650s. I think there's two of them in there. So what I'm gonna try to do is disconnect this because I can just unscrew this. And I'm gonna cut these wires off from these. I'm gonna use one of these. And then I can use this barrel to connect to this panel, which has a higher capacity and also a much bigger panel, higher quality. And I, I believe that it will charge it a lot faster. I think this is about 600 milliamp hour. Um, and these, you know, this much tinier panel, so it's gonna take a lot longer to charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and see if it works. If it does, maybe it's something that you guys wanna do. So I've gone ahead, disconnected it. I spliced a, a barrel a charger connector from, from a spare that I had. I spliced it into this wire and I can just use these and then put silicone in it so that way that it becomes uh, waterproof. 
and we're gonna go ahead and switch this on as you can see it works see when I flip it once it receives light it turns off automatically when it gets dark it turns it on so this is an alternative that I will be implementing I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because I'm curious what kind of batteries uh, is being used but I'm sure it's gonna be these 18650 batteries so I didn't really have anything else other than this this is like that stuff that you use the sealant for your kitchen and whatnot for your window seals but this is 100% waterproof so I've gone ahead use these wire nuts and I filled them up generously in there so now that connection will be waterproof once I connect this to this guy right here the female to the male or this is the female the male um, the original had like a little screw that is screwed in as you can see has a thread so with this what I can do is I can uh, once I put it in there I can just seal it with silicone too so nothing gets in there and it's safe Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. So as I suspected, there are 18650 batteries just hooked up to that panel. Fairly simple. There's two of them. And as you can see, both positives are on one end, negatives on the other. So these are in parallel. So actually the capacity so there's two 2200 milliamp hours. So you're getting 4400 milliamp hours, which is plenty compared to the 1200. So you have four times as much with this, a much bigger panel. So it's going to charge these efficiently because why else would they put these in there? So what I can do actually now is 2200. I have some bigger capacity batteries that I'm going to go ahead and put in there and I will have no worry of um, my 42 meters of little lights on for the whole night. So I had a bunch of these batteries, you know, but I think these are lower capacity and those are much lower. Um, I think I ran a load test on these. I kind of marked them. So this one's almost 2,500. And then these ones, I think, are actually, they're both might be 2,600 milliamp. Um, but over time, you know, they lost some charge. Uh, I'm going to test these. If these are more than, you know, the 2,200 that that other one came with, then I will replace them with these. And that way I'll have higher capacity uh, batteries on that solar panel.